Welcome to the short and sweet practice for the spine. We'll be starting this practice with our f- standing with our feet hip width apart, and we're going to find looseness in our body by gently swaying from side to side. You're welcome to bring the heel that you move away from to bring that heel off the ground. You can have your gaze following the twist, or if that f- makes you feel dizzy, then your gaze is straight forward as you sway from side to side. You can sway gently or you can sway a little bit firmer. You can allow your hands to gently tap into the upper arms or more into the trunk. Just kind of feel here. Looseness in the body is what we're looking for. Often when we do this, there's clicks and movements in um, our joints. If you feel that, if you notice that, then just let that be there. And we're gently coming to a slower, slower movement until we are in a neutral position standing. And once we're there, we're moving the feet away from each other and we're just gently swaying a little bit from side to side, finding some looseness in the legs and into our feet where we're going into our golden seat sequence, a beautiful sequence by Paul Grilly created to loosen the spine. So where we start is a big circle out And then we're crossing the hands over in front, and we turn the toes out, we turn the knees out, and we press the hands away. You can sit down as deep as you want to. Just the first time, we just kind of move a little bit from side to side, and we're slowly sinking down, only as deep as feels is right in your hips. From here, we're sinking down. Either left elbow onto the knee or left hand on the inside of the foot. I'll show it, elbow onto the knee. Reach your right leg up, toes up, reach your right hand up, adding a twist. And then we're changing sides. So I'll show first elbow on the knee. You push the knee out, lifting your left toes up, lift your left hand up, gazes towards the hand, twisting the spine. From there, we're sinking it down. Toes are pointing forward. You're welcome to toe your, your toes. You step your feet in a little bit. Now we're rounding the spine as you're gently pulling up. We're holding onto this imaginary ball of energy, and from there we're pushing it up. As we push the hands up, we push the hips forward, a little bit of a back bend, extension in the spine. And from here we find straight lines in our drinking bird. So the toes are slightly turned in. We're hinging from the hips, the trunk remains straight, and the hands go behind us, up towards the sky. And from here we come into our goddess pose. So we're turning the toes out again. We turn the knees out to the, again. This time the hands are up overhead, sinking down into the hips just as much as you feel is right. And then coming back to your drinking bird. So you turn your toes, reaching forward, hinging from the hips. Hands go behind. Find that space into the back body. And now bend your legs, coil through the spine, let your head hang down. Feel one vertebrae at a time, how you're pulling yourself up. It's imaginary. And there we head our hands through the water. And then once you're all the way up, the head comes up last. You can press one hand into the other and push the hips forward. And from there, hands go out in front, palms down, as we bring the energy back into our core. And then we go again. Big circle. Crossing the hands out in front, turn your toes, push your knees out, sinking down. Goddess pose. And then we release it down. This time I'm bringing my hand on the floor. You don't have to do that. You can bring your elbow onto your knee, rising up through the right hand. And then changing sides. Right hand down, rising up through the left hand. Left toes are up. And we're bringing it down, picking up on our imaginary ball of energy. Rounding the spine as much as you can. Slowly pulling it up. Once the hands are at the heart, you begin to push the hips forward. And then we're pressing the hands up, opening up into the front body. And from there, drinking bird. Straight lines in the body, hands go out in front. And then behind, we reach like the chin down, direction of the ground. Back into our goddess pose, so we're turning the toes, opening up into the hips, sitting down as deep as you feel good, not deeper, lengthening into the front of the trunk. And then sinking back down, opening up, back body, hands behind. From here, bend your legs, let your head hang down, coiling through the spine, gently pulling it up. Feel how each vertebrae on coils. Reaching up, opening up, press your hands into each other, one hand into the other. Open up the front body, and from there, bring the energy back down. Palms out in front, hands down. And we do this one more time. Hands out. 
Cross the hands out in front, push them out. Toes out, sinking down as deep as you feel is good. Going forward. First twisting over to the right side. Right toes, right hand up. Twisting the spine. And then other side. Left toes, left hand up. Twisting the spine. And then bring it down. Rounding the spine now. So really feel how you pull your belly button down. Picking up the imaginary ball. Once the hands go at the heart, then we kind of push the hips forward, turning the palms up, reaching up and maybe back. And from there, drinking burnt. Turn your toes in, straight lines now. Activating through the front body, lengthening, shortening the back body, lengthening the back of the legs. And then rounding, coiling, pulling it back up, goddess pose, reaching up, and then sinking back down, drinking burnt. Hands behind, opening in the chest, bending your legs, let your head hang down, gently coiling up, all the way up, all the way up, push your hips forward, rising up through the chest, pushing your hands up or behind, and then draw your hands down in front. Once your hands are down, you're stepping your feet closer together, and you gently begin to sway again from side to side, finding that looseness, releasing any tension. So you can lift the heel up of the foot that you move away from. Only if it feels good, you don't have to, you can keep them down. And from here, we're staying in this position, we're opening up. Hands up overhead, big circle down, interlace your hands behind, lean forward and release your hands out, stretching into the shoulders and the chest, opening up the chest, so keep the front of the body long. Bend your legs to bring yourself back up, hands out to the side. Press one hand into the other, opening up front body, so don't push your hips back, push your hips forward. And then turn towards the front of your mat. Bring your hands next to your ears and open up more into the chest. And then lean forward, finding your balance. Keep on lifting the chest here. So it's like a cobra position. Chest is lifted. It's not about the back leg this time. It's about the arch, the back bend. Bending your standing leg, land your left foot a long way back, bring your heel down onto the ground, open it up into your warrior position. Finding side movement now. So we're reaching the right hand up, we bend the arm and we reach the hand towards the of both hands in the direction of your left foot. And then from there you're going forward, your right elbow lands onto your knee, your left hand goes up and over in the direction of your right foot. So coming up, right hand direction of your left foot, and then going forward, left hand in the direction of your right foot. Going back one more time, hand up overhead. Now the back hand goes forward, and then it rises up. Back heel comes off the ground, crescent lunge. Now we add a twist. So on the exhalation, twist it over to the right side. Inhale, the back hand goes down, forward, and up. Crescent lunge. A little bit of a back bend if that's okay. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back hand down, forward, and up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back hand down, forward, and up. Rise it up. Find your back bend here. Bring your back knee down onto the ground. Keep on opening up front of the body. You can keep your back toe tucked or not. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, bring your right hand next to your right hip onto the ground. Open it up into your side stretch. The hand is not onto the ground. You bring it onto your hip. Perfectly fine. Sorry. Inhale, coming up. So left hand either onto the hip or down onto the ground. Open up the right side of the body. Inhale, coming up, both hands up, open up the chest, exhale, left hand on the inside of your right foot, right hand behind, tuck your back toe, lift your back knee up, open up. 
twisting here. Bring your left shoulder in the direction of your right knee. Exhale, bring your hand down the outside of your foot. Straighten your leg as much as you feel is good. Keep the front of the body open as we lead through the chest. Walk your hands to the left side of your mat, turn your toes. Hang down into your straddle forward fold. Inhale, straighten your arms, bring your hands onto the ground. Twisting, so keep your left hand or fingers onto the ground. On the inhalation, lift your right hand up. Twist as much as you feel is right for you. On the exhale, bring your hand down. Changing sides. Left hand up. Deep breath in. On the exhalation, bring your hand down. Bend your legs. Maybe step your feet in a little bit. Gently rolling up. Reach your hands up overhead. One hand presses into the other. Turning now towards the back of the room. Turn your back toes in a little bit, 45 degree angle, opening up into the chest, reaching, lifting your chest up. And we're finding our balance here, so you bend into your leg. So it's keeping the chest lifted, a little bit of a back bend, the back muscles are active as we lift the chest up and then we find our balance from there. Bending into your standing leg. Reach your right foot back as far as you can. Bring your heel down onto the ground. Coming up, arms out to the side. Finding lateral motion, sideway. So the left hand goes up overhead and then reaches towards the back foot. And then we go the opposite direction. Elbow, left elbow onto the left knee. Right hand goes up and over. I want you to feel that side stretch. Inhale. Peaceful warrior. Keep on reaching with your hand up overhead towards your foot. Exhale. One more time. Back. Opening up. So now the back hand goes down, forward and up. As the hand goes up, the back heel comes off the ground. Finding here your crescent lunge, as it's called. Find the awareness in the back leg to straighten it. And then twisting. Exhale, left hand back, right hand forward. Inhale, left hand down, forward and up. Exhale, twist. Inhale. And again, exhale. Inhale, rise it up. Exhale, twist, last one. Inhale, rise it up. Crescent lunge, opening up. Exhale, hands. No, exhale, back knee down onto the ground. Sorry. Opening up into your low lunge from here. Keep on releasing the hip, the right hip forward. And then we add a twist. So No, we add a side stretch first. I'm sorry. We're bringing the left hand down either on the hip or onto the ground, and we're opening up sideways. Inhale, coming up, opposite side, reaching. Inhale, coming up, first finding your back bend a little bit, rise your chest, pull your belly button away from your left knee, and then find your twist. Tuck your back toe under, lift your back knee off the ground, right shoulder to your left knee, opening it up. Bring your hand to the outside of your foot, straightening your leg gently. Turning your toes. Walk your hands in between your feet. You're welcome to bring your feet closer together. Just hang down for a moment. Let your head be soft. Bring your hands onto the ground. 
walking your feet closer together. Just heel, heel toeing, bending your legs, come to sit down. Crossing the legs. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale, twist it over to the right side. Inhale, lift your hands up. Exhale, cross it over to the left side. Gently pull with your right hand onto your left knee to intensify. Inhale, coming up. Both hands up. Exhalation, hands out in front. Just round your spine, let your head hang down. Push the belly button in the direction of the wall behind you. Exhale here, fully on the inhalation, gently coming up. Hands go behind you. Fingertips are pointing back. Lean into your hands. Open up into the front body. Lift your chest. Bring yourself up. Left hand next to your right hand. Up and over. You're welcome to come onto your elbow if that feels good for you or you just kind of reach. Changing sides. Opening up into the left side of the body. Keep on releasing the left sitting bone down. Inhale, coming up. Bring your hands onto your knees. Find the uprightness in your spine for a moment. So really feel sitting bones are sitting down. Crown of the head is rising up. Bring your hands in front of your chest. Thank you for sharing your practice. Namaste.